Hello team, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about a new topic which is kicks. Basics of kicks in a mainframe. So let's start with the today's topic. So at the end of this video, you are able to understand the overview of kicks. What is kicks? How we use the function of kicks and we discuss about the OLTP and batch job. So what is difference between the batch process and online transaction process? Also, we understand the what is the kicks startups and types of startups. We'll discuss the startup and the shutdown procedure of the kicks. So let's start one by one. So what is KICS? So KICS stands for Customer Information Control System. So you already know KICS is a general purpose database or we call it as data communication control system and its processing subsystem for a GOS operating system. Also KICS is a family of mixed language application server that provide online transaction management and connectivity for application on IBM mainframe. So now we understand what does it do. So you know like uh, all users want immediate response to their information processing. So you need an online information processing system or you called as uh, OLTP online transaction processing system. So for example we can use the atm so if you want to withdraw money uh, so you just need to put uh, some requirement like uh, put the um, uh, pin and uh, amount how much you want so after that uh, it's automatically proceed so here oltp is used and uh, apart from that online hotel booking airlines reservation and all we used uh, kicks uh, only so next is uh, who used it so around 90 percent of uh, g series customers worldwide refer kicks only and 90 plus of the fortune and 500 companies all industries are belongs to kicks so if we talk about uh, today so kicks today's can handle more than 9 lakhs concurrent user and average kicks installation handle around 250 million transaction per day so it's a very important to understand so our next topic is batch and online process so in batch process all the jobs are scheduled on the daily weekly and monthly basis and in batch user can't interact with the application and all the input data is prepared and given in a sequence if we talk about program and file so in batch we can't share in a file but in online process we are able to share the program and file and uh, we also interact user are easily interact to the data and here data is not entered in a sequence and uh, all the jobs are submitted or executed immediately within a few seconds also uh, online transaction process is used for managing the user interface retrieving and modifying the data tracking data location and user handling communication and all all where it's used only online transaction process is used so our next topic is functions of kicks so you know kicks is a oltp product family from ibm so there were lots of functions first is kicks manage requests from concurrent users in an application although multiple users are working on kick system but it gives a feel to users that he is a single user only so this is very effective next is kicks give the access to data files for reading or updating them in an application apart from that it's to provide the class of software that administrator transaction related program also kicks provide the teleprocessing access method so this is the functions of kicks so now we are going to understand kicks interface 
so this is the user interface a uh, user interface or we called as a kix client it's a uh, interact with the communication access communication access through btam sna or tcp ip anyone is fine next is the kix so kix uh, it uh, supplies specialized online services such as uh, interface to database terminal and other operating system here is the operating system so what is operating system so operating system supplies general services like application program and all next kix uh, access the data through vzam db2 or uh, ims and uh, generally online system process transaction which includes three terminology first one to receiving a message from a terminal second one to accessing data from file or a database and uh, third one to sending a reply back to the terminal so this is the kix interface so our next topic is how is it invoked so kix is normally started as an stc through it can also be started as a job you can start kix from an mvs console or net views terminal with an appropriate start command or through most installation will use a scheduler example opc esa cs7 to control production kix availability also it is possible to have two or more kix region at the same time as a kix run as a batch job in a operating system at the background thank you all for your support thanks a lot please like share and subscribe my channel and if you want any specific topic please comment in a comment box thank you again bye